deep in the heart of England's countryside, Ford unveiled their latest contender, the Focus RS WRC03. The team have been working around the clock to ensure it's ready for its debut in New Zealand. The result, Ford's most technically advanced rally car ever. The brief was quite simple from me. You have to make a car that's going to win on uh, all events. I think really 80% of this car now is new. So uh, in one sense, it, <coughs> it is almost like a, like a brand new car. The man behind the radical new look is technical director Christian Loriot. Who better to take you through the evolution? This is the new front bumper. As the car is based on the American focus to improve the aerodynamic, the bumper is to be 45 mm longer and it's studied to improve the front aerodynamic downforce and cooling. As you can see, the new rear wing is very different to the old one. We could tell from looking at data that we needed to improve the car on the high-speed rally, and with this rear wing, we're going to do exactly that. As you can see inside the car, it's uh, all new as well. We pay a lot of attention to uh, saving weight and putting the weight down. You can see this completely new electronic with all the switch very light and low down and the floor mounted pedal box as well to help reducing the weight and putting the weight low down. Okay, in the engine bay, as you can see, it's a completely different story as well. The most noticeable difference is the cooling package. This has been done mainly to improve the cooling efficiency, reduce the weight and put the weight low down. The other obvious change is the, the air box. That has been done to improve the engine breathing efficiency. There are a lot of small changes as well. And one of them, for example, is the turbo. The turbo is a new turbo, but here's what it's been positioned further back and further down, again, to improve the weight distribution of the car. This redistribution of the weight was vital in achieving a lower center of gravity to balance the handling of the car at high speeds. This is enough for the theory. Now let's see what the driver thinks of it. Okay, then. Let's go for one run and see what you think of it. Once again, the emphasis has been on finding a lower center of gravity for greater stability at high speeds. Quite good to you see some uh, difference in the balance of the car. Yes, very good balance. Do you think the track is looking good? I said it's good. Uh, it's a bit better than it's good. All right. Stability, uh, the fast corner is very good. I think the, uh, the improved suspension travel at the back should help the rear not to pick up in the air. Testing has already proved the new car is quicker, but with their young driver's limited experience in New Zealand, the next round will certainly be Ford's hardest test yet. Okay. Thank you, Christian, for the new car. See you in New Zealand. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, Watson.